live, shall we? We are going to yeah. start a new monthly European power rankings. Um, when we put this and had this discussion, we obviously both meant different things, but said the same thing. Yeah. Monthly. Monthly, as in we're doing it monthly, hadn't done it yet. So I did January and February records in all competitions. And Cargo, I did February because it was monthly. Just did monthly, bless his soul. So Targo, I say we start with our number 10s. We each go and work our way down to number one. Sounds good. All right. Who's your number 10, Targo? My number 10 has been Fika. They're four and one for February, and that one loss was on PKs to Braga in the Taca de Portugal. But the reason I have them at number ten is their emphatic win over Club Bruges, winning two nil, dominating that game, and will probably be moving on in the next round of the Champions League. And so I have them at my number ten. Nice. Yeah, they have been impressive this season, especially after losing their best midfielder and at the beginning of the season losing their best forward, arguably. So. All right. My number 10, I have Union Berlin. Um, they're the Cinderella story, Cinderella story of the season. They're ranked third in the Bundesliga right now. This year in 2023, they've won seven, drawn three, and lost one. That's it. Okay. Yeah. I, I thought about adding them, but again, their record in February was not the best, so I did not. Okay. And that is where a lot of these rankings differ for both of us. Yes. You only did February and I did January and February. So. All right. Targo number nine for you. My number nine is AC Milan. So in February they had one four and lost one. And that one loss was to enter Milan. But one of the big wins in those four was they beat Spurs in the champions league. And I know after looking at your, we'd found the record for that year. If I was doing for the year, I probably wouldn't have had them on my top 10 list. But again, for February, one loss, four wins. It was a tough loss, but yeah, I picked them. Yeah. All right. My number nine is Manchester United. Uh, they've played a whopping 18 games since January 1st. That's a lot. That is a lot. Uh, they're 13-3-2 since <clears throat> January 1st. I was going to put that they're still in contention to win the quadruple, uh, but they lost 7-0 to Liverpool, so I changed it to the treble. Still in contention to win the FA Cup and Europa League. They won the Carabao Cup, which is why they got into my top 10. Moving yeah, they're... On. They're in my top 10. They're my next one. They're number eight, Manchester United. Well, and, just keep going then. I guess it's a perfect segue. Yeah, so they, they were four and two, four wins, two draws, and zero losses. So they didn't lose at all in the month of February. And uh, they had some big wins, you know, a big win in the Carabao Cup. Uh, they beat Barca, and their two draws, one was to Leeds United, so not quite as impressive, but then the other draw was to Barcelona at the Camp now. Yeah, which is equally as impressive, so. So, yeah, I picked them as my number eight. Solid pick. My number eight is PSG. The Messi and Mbappe show. Uh, they're 8-1-5 in 2003. They did not have a very good January to February. It was February. End of January, yeah, that... beginning of February. So, shocker, I do not have PSG in my top ten. Because if you look at their February, I'm pretty sure they won like one or two games is all. Yeah. Um but, I mean, Messi and Mbappe just look so good together. Now. Didn't now. in February. <laughs> and the end of February, they did. Um, they look more and more dangerous as each game goes on. I, they could beat anybody any day, but they could also lose to anybody any day. So, flip a coin. That's my number eight. Who do you have at number seven? My number seven is Manchester City. Nice. So they were four and two, four wins, two draws, zero losses. Uh, big wins against Arsenal, and their yeah, two, two draws. Yep, yeah, the 
their two draws were to Nine and Forest, which was a bit of a disappointment, I know, for them. Probably should have won that game. And then the other draw was to RB Leipzig in the Champions League. But no losses in February, so I included them in my top ten. Yeah, they're in my top ten as well, but a little higher. We'll see. My number seven is Real Madrid. They've won 10, drawn two, and lost three in 2023. For me, it was mostly the 5-2 to two win against <clears throat> Liverpool in the Champions League. They won the Club World Cup. I know their last couple of games, last two games, have been draws in the league. Uh, they lost to Barcelona in the Copa del Rey first leg. I understand that was in March. Um, but, yeah, big win against Liverpool in the Champions League. Emphatic showing. Uh, they would be above Barcelona, except Barcelona are still nine points ahead of them. At the time, it was seven. So, number six, Targo. My number six is Juventus. So they won five, drew once, and had zero losses. Their one draw came to not in the Europa League, which they then beat them emphatically in the second leg. But they didn't really beat anyone noteworthy, no top clubs in Italy. Again, Nantes, probably not super noteworthy, but it was worth noting. Thanks. My number six is Barcelona. They've won 12, drawn two, and lost two since January 1st. One of those draws and one of those losses was against Manchester United. But at the time, like I said, when we did this, seven-point lead in La Liga, now it's nine. They, their defense is so good right now. How United managed to score, <clears throat> I guess they scored four goals against them, and most of them were their own fault. So... Um, yeah, they've seriously impressed me this season. They seem to eke out 1-0 wins every single week. It's nuts. So, yeah, for the length of the season, I would I would say yes. But for February, no, they didn't have a good February. A couple losses, a couple draws. So they mm. are not even in my top ten for February. Okay. Number five, Targo. Number five is Bayern Munich. So they had five wins and one loss but a big win against PSG, an emphatic win against Union Berlin. And then their one loss came to VFL Bochum, who, if you look at the table now, are bottom of La Liga. Or not La Liga, Bundesliga. So that's that's the stain, and it's a pretty big stain. But, man, a win against PSG, I think that's, that's huge. 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 Union Berlin, who were sitting in third, I mean, they dominated them. Yeah, that wasn't even close. 3-0, I believe. Yep, so I went with Bayern Munich at number five. Okay. My number five is Manchester City. Uh, yeah, you already said it. In the month of February, <clears throat> they won four, drew two, didn't lose a game. Since January 1st, they're 11, 2, and 3. They did not have a great January, which is why uh, they're not higher on my list. But they can still win the treble. Uh, FA Cup and League and Champions League. They beat Arsenal twice, which was very impressive to me, but they've been slightly inconsistent. That draw against RB Leipzig and the draw against Forest. Uh, in games, I, the Leipzig one, you probably could say it could have gone either way, so a draw was probably fair, but they should have definitely beat Nottingham Forest. So, yeah, that's why they're not higher on my list. How about number four, Targo? My number four is Real Madrid. So in the month of February, they won five and drew one with zero losses. And they had uh, big wins in the Club World Cup, like you had mentioned, destroyed Liverpool in the Champions League. And that one draw was a Madrid derby to Atletico. Yeah. Um, they've been on fire lately. So, All right. Number four, I have Borussia Dortmund. Um, I probably should have... I probably should have revised this, but yeah, they won 10 since January 1st, drawn none and lost none. They're the most yeah, informed team in all of Europe. 
Our listeners can't see. Yes, I'm shaking my head right now. You have them so low. Yeah. Uh, they went from sixth to tied with Bayern Munich for first. I had nothing but good things to say, and probably come next week we'll be talking about them beating Tottenham Hotspur. Not Tottenham Hotspur. Chelsea. The other crappy London t- club. So, um, Yeah. Honestly, they should be higher on this list, but I have them fourth. Okay. My number three is Celtic from the Scottish Premier League, who are 5-0 and oh in February. Five wins, no losses, no draws. And then in January, they, were, they had five wins and one draw, and that one draw was to Rangers. But, yeah, undefeated in February, man. How can they not be on your top ten? Yeah, I don't know. Um, but they're not for some reason. I must have overlooked the Scot- Scottish League. So my number three is Arsenal. They did not have the grace of February's, but they have won seven, drawn two, and lost three in 2023. Lost five times all season. And more importantly, have more points through 26 games than the Invincibles did. They're in first place up by five points on Manchester City. I can't say enough good things about them this season, except for the inconsistency of February. And that's why they are not even in my top 10, because they had a bad February. So that's my number three. Who you got at number two, Targo? My number two is Napoli, who had five wins, zero draws, and zero losses in February. They had a big win in the Champions League against Eintracht Frankfurt, but they didn't really play anyone too noteworthy in City at A, and so I did not put them at number one. So they're my number two, Napoli. Fair. My number two is Bayern Munich. I know you mentioned them already. Big win against PSG is why they're so high on my list, uh, and the destruction of Union Berlin as well. I mean, they've won six, drawn three, and lost once since January 1st. But but yet you have them above Borussia Dortmund, who have zero losses. I do. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is power rankings. For me, it wasn't about recent record. It's who I think could be everybody else on this list that is below them or above uh, below them. Um, okay. Because we have different views on power rankings then as well. <laughs> yeah. Seems like it. Number one, Targo, after all of your arguments, I bet I could guess who it is. Yeah, it's Borussia Dortmund, man, undefeated in freaking 2023. How do you not pick them? In January, they had six wins, no draws, no losses. Big win against Freiburg, who are up at close to the top of the table in the Bundesliga. We just saw them beat RB Leipzig. I know it was March, so I didn't even count it. But then they had a big win against Chelsea in the Champions League. So, yeah, Borussia Dortmund, man. I get it. Like I said, they should be higher on my list, but. I don't get how you have Arsenal at number three, if I'm being honest. Because I think so they're even, the third You think best right team. now Arsenal would beat Real Madrid or PSG? If uh, they're going they off could. the way you do it? They could. But we won't know because they're in the Europa League this year. We'll find out next year. Um, exactly. In the Europa League, too. Not even in the Champions League. And you have them that high. <laughs> Your bias Anyways. is showing there, bud. Yeah, well, this is my power rankings. I can put whoever I want. Power rankings want. are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Um, my number one, uh, if it wasn't for Borussia Dortmund's undefeated run of six wins and zero losses, I put Napoli as my number one. Do you know they didn't allow a goal in all of February? That's impressive. Zero. Zero. They only allowed five goals since January 1st. So, yeah. Uh, this was before they lost to Lazio, of course. But that's in March. So yep. they might drop a bit. Um, they won nine, drew one, lost two. They've lost, what, three games all season? In all competitions? In Serie A, they have lost two. Yeah, and they lost in the Coppa Italia, I think. I don't know. Anyways, 
they're the best team in Europe right now, in my opinion. They could beat any team on this list, which is why they're my number one. Yeah, I mean, they're a solid choice. They're my number two. Like I said, I think the only reason I rated Borussia Dortmund higher is I feel like Borussia Dortmund beat a tougher team in the Champions League in Chelsea versus Napoli beating Eintracht Frankfurt. Honestly, that I think that was my deciding factor. Okay. Yeah, the only reason I have Bayern Munich ahead of Borussia Dortmund is because they beat PSG. So. And then, yeah, you're right. My bias showed on the Arsenal pick. But <laughs> anyways, that's all I got for this one. <laughs> all right. Well, that brings us to the end of this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let us know your power rankings in Europe on our Facebook group at Bruce and Banter. We love to hear your guys' thoughts. Make sure you check out our TikToks, Instagram at Bruce and Banter FC. The YouTube, man, you guys got to check out our expressions. I got heated right there when I saw him put Borussia Dortmund so low. I thought that was a shame. So make sure you check out the YouTube, check out our facial expressions. They're funny. Yeah, they are, definitely. Uh, especially when I say something and Targo doesn't agree with it. It's pretty no. entertaining. Sometimes I, try not I to think you say it time. just to get a rise out of me, man. Uh, how'd you know? <laughs> <laughs> but also make sure you check out our Red Bubble, check out our merch. Uh, I mentioned our Facebook group. We got some merch on our Facebook group. We want to like, we want to hear from you guys. Which one, which kind of our merch do you like the best? So make sure you check that out because we want to keep doing this. It's fun for us. <laughs> and on that note, we love you guys. Thank you so much. Till next time. Cheers.